Hi, I'm Alex from phpacademy.org and in this video created for the new Boston, we're going to be talking about um, upper and lower case conversion in PHP. Now, let's first of all just take a look at um, a simple string. So I'm going to say I am um, or I could be any case. Um, okay, so this string um, could be user user supplied data it could be anything really um, but in this case we're looking at a static string that we've just created now what happens if I want to create this string completely lowercase now we'll look at an example of how we can do this first the same with uppercase however we'll also then talk about why this might be useful in real life situations so string lower I've created a new variable and this is equal to str to lower and then in brackets we add the string that we want to convert Ooh, with the correct dollar sign so essentially what we've done is create a new variable here we've used a function here called str to lower so it's quite easy to uh, remember and uh, we've supplied it with the argument string so we're converting this string to lower case so now what we can do is underneath is we can echo string lower so let's preview that in our browser and see if that's worked and you can see it um, has in fact worked. The I was capital before, as you can see here, uh, and it's not anymore. So for example, I could say I could be any case. And if I refresh now, you see that we get exactly the same result because whatever capital letters are there, we're converting them back to lowercase. So now let's try the same, but with uppercase. So we're gonna create a new variable underneath here called string upper. And that's going to be equal to str2, and you probably guessed it, upper, and then we supply it with the same data, so string. Now let's just change this output, so we're echoing the upper rather than the lower, and we can refresh and see what happens. Oh, um, let's just have a look here. I think I've sub yeah, too many p's in that one. Okay, so let's refresh. Okay, so now we can see that our string has been converted to completely uppercase. So it's extremely simple to convert from lowercase to uppercase, from uppercase to lowercase, and from an, a user user typed text to any case as well. Now, why would we want to use these functions uh, inside of PHP? Now, I'm just going to be focusing on the str to lower uh, just for the moment. And we're going to create a short program that demonstrates this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a form uh, with an action and a method. So we're going to post that as get or submit that as get. And the action is going to be index.php. End the form there. And we're just going to take one line of user data. So um, let's say um, name. Oh, what am I doing? I'm starting a link for no reason. So input type is text. Um, the name of this is just going to be user underscore name and then we can break down and we'll add a submit button Ooh, type equals submit and the value of that is going to be submit okay so let's just preview this now browser to make sure everything's looking and working okay okay so the point of this example I'm going to show you is I want a user to enter their name and we want I want to perform an if statement on this user's name now if I was to type my name usually in here I might just type Alex in lowercase but me personally I'd usually use Alex with a capital A um, as it should be written however how do you know how your user is going to enter a specific value into a text field you don't they could type Alex they could type Alex they could even say Alex like that you, you don't know how people are going to type their name in so if you're taking generic data such as a name and you just want to perform you know a comparison of on it using a comparison operator you might want to convert it to lowercase so whatever the user types in you can always perform the check correctly so if it doesn't make sense, we'll uh, carry on and I'll show you an example. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check for the data. So I'm going to say is if is set dollar underscore get uh, user name. And the reason I've used get is so we can keep an eye on it in the uh, in the uh, URL bar up the top. So I'm going to say and not empty dollar um, underscore get user name. 
And if these two statements evaluate to true, or this whole statement as a whole evaluates to true, um, we can reset the variable name here. This is just to ensure we don't uh, grab any errors outside of this, because if we were to put this username equals dollar underscore get username outside of this if statement, we'd probably have um, an undefined index error. So if you if you find you're getting errors undefined index, this is why, because you're setting a variable to something that may not exist. Uh, before you do your checks or you might not be doing checks at all anyway so username equals uh, get username so let's just echo that out so we can uh, preview this in our browser and get an idea of what's going on so I'm typing Alex with a capital A first of all and I'm gonna click submit now um, oh it doesn't seem to have shown let's have a look what we might have done wrong username Oh yeah, okay, so I haven't included my um, underscore there. So uh, let's just type that in again. I'm going to type Alex with a capital A and I'm going to click Submit. So you can see that's been posted back to us. We've, we can view it. And we can also keep an eye on we've got a capital A up here and then the rest uh, LEX is in lowercase. Now I'm going to type it in, uh, in completely lowercase and you can see that both values here are updated. However, now what I want to do is inside here, uh, let's just take away that echo. I want to create a check to say if username equals Alex. So remember, we're using um, a double equals here um, for a comparison. Then I want to say, um, let's just say you are the best. Okay, so um, I know a bit of an odd example, but okay, so my point is that if we um, were checking for the username, Oh, this this user's name that we've specified. Now let's just type in Alex with a capital A again. Now the result I'm going to get now is absolutely nothing. However, if I type in lowercase, we're now checking in lowercase just here. So, you know, it's only going to echo out "You are the best" if the user has typed their name, even though it's the same name. We're only going to get this message here if you look if it's in lowercase. So the simple solution is to create a new variable. Don't convert this username variable because if you if you need to use it later on or store it, you want to store it the same way the user has typed it in, but you want to use a comparison in your lowercase version. So you want to create a new variable for this. So user uh, name, uh, I'm going to say LC for lowercase equals dollar underscore, oh no, what we can do is say uh, equals username with the underscore remember however we're going to enclose this in the str to lower function so now what we're doing is we're creating a new variable called username we're converting what the users already typed to lowercase and now what we can do is we can simply perform this check here but we've still got the original value that the user entered even though we've created a lowercase version so let's just check if this works which it should do so um, with Alex in here with the lowercase version and we click submit it says you're the best however with the Alex uh, the capital A beforehand it didn't work but now it does and we can even just uh, do something silly like that and click submit and it still works however the point I wanted to get across because we've created this new variable now what you can do is you can specify uh, the variable the original way that it was typed so even though we're, we're comparing only the lowercase version you can still use the original version so uh, let's just refresh it says you are the best a capital L small uh, e capital X so uh, same with Alex with a capital A and then exactly the same with a small so it maintains the structure that the user has used to type it whether it be this this or this but we're performing the check on the name as a whole so we're not taking into account the user's case we're taking into account what they have actually typed so that's basically a, a really uh, useful example of the str to lower and how it could be used in everyday applications